Hey there guys and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. In the last part we beat Darkness Ruler and Keith and started our duel with Labyrinth Ruler. So yeah I'm not really winning right now because I kinda messed up with Amoeba and I got this Shadow Ghoul up in my face right about now and I don't really have any good monsters to summon. So I'll just throw Swordsman from a foreign land out there. Because it's still too early in the match to play Sword Stalker. I mean, that would just be a waste. He wouldn't be as strong as he could be. So let's just stall for time now. I don't know what the hell he's doing there. Trying to build something, apparently. I don't know what the hell those three cards are. Guess he does not want me sneaking up on his right. Ooh, Suijin. That's going to be awesome. Need to get him on the field next turn, then the duel's gonna be all over. Or why not summon him now? There we go, power increase. Flip up the Aqua Chorus. And then he'll be in for it. There we go. 4100. It's time to own some stuffs. No, Shadow Ghoul just wipe. Hey, why is he running? Damn it! No one runs from me. No, wait. I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna go through the labyrinth terrain because Shadow Ghoul's one of the few monsters who can do that. Damn, forgot about that for a moment. And none of my monsters can go on labyrinth terrain, so that kind of blows. But at least Change Slime can take care of that monster. Hero of the East. It's a samurai with a helmet that kind of resembles a Viking helmet, so... Samurai Vikings for the win. But it's not gonna beat my pile of snot with a glowing scythe attached to it. They're going to take the, each other down. They're going to die together. And yeah, he just simply slashes with a sword. It's boring as hell. I mean, you think the hero of the East would have some kind of weird Japanese magical weapon stuff. I mean, aren't they super advanced in technology? And kind of crazy communistic. And wait, that's China. I always get those confused. They all look alike anyway. Now, come on, let's hurry up. I want to start my Suijin sweep. So yeah, Change Slime defended my flank pretty well, even though Hero of the East would have never gone past the invitation to a dark sleep. That's still hiding in the corner over there. And yeah, I need to get that guy somewhere I can get him. Oh, sweet, got another power of Kaishin. Let's make that 4,600. Oh man, he's never ever gonna take that one down, is he? Although he's sure gonna try. Oh my god, he steps into the labyrinth terrain and he transforms into a face down card. Oh crap. Uh oh. That's not good. Uh, Suijin Cockroach Knight. Okay. That's one whacked up monster, but he's going to take massive damage from it. Almost barely enough to knock him out. I think it like 200 short, and my monster is like a flying shower curtain that shoots water out of a symbol attached to it. So yeah, I'm not really trying to make sense of any of this, but yeah. That really requires one hell of an imagination. And the shower curtain has a face and hands. So that's one whacked up monster. Anyway, she takes 3800 life point damage, which is barely enough. But if I can just get Sword Stalker out here, 
Let's just see what he has. He has a wall shadow. Get a little power increase. Up to 2300. Well, that's more than enough to destroy him and take out the rest of his life points. So, yay, we have another duel in the pocket. Now, Sword Stalker. Do you scream? And charge with your glowing blade of hellfire. Bust a crack in that wall. That's really like Shadow Ghoul sticking out of a wall. How imaginative. Should have put it in defense mode. I mean, there, in that case, I wouldn't have gone through it in any way. Except, of course, with Sui Jin, who pretty much destroys everything at this point. But, yeah, that's another duel down. I'm really shredding through Kaiba's cronies. I, like, I beat four of them in three videos. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna beat more in this part. Well, what do we get? Monster Tamer. Another Monster Tamer. Come on, give me... Damn it. So close again. So I must have like 20 fake traps already. Keep getting those damn cards. Oh well. Now where can we go? You've won yourself a light to guide you out of this labyrinth. And I've won your rose card. So yay, we have four already. And we can now go to... Rainbow Land, apparently. Lancashire to fight Pegasus Crawford. Oh dear, I always remember Pegasus as being like one of the toughest opponents in this game because he has like all these whacked up toon monsters. Yeah, stop talking. Let's talk more action. Zero has taught me a thing or two about dueling, so let's duel. Uh, I thought you were the guy who made the game. Shouldn't you best know how to play it? Oh well, what do I care? And yeah, the field is not really in my benefit. I mean, there's some water here, but there's no way he's ever gonna get to that. And I'm not getting, really getting any good beginning monsters, so I'll just send invisible wire in there. To maybe destroy his first attack, and his deck leader is the illusionist faceless mage. Which looks really damn weird. Oh well, at least we're high tide fish and sea serpent. Don't have any fish or sea serpent, but at least I can play this. Send in the roaring ocean snake through the other entrance. So yeah, which either way he sends his monster, it's going to die. Because nothing beats my roaring ocean snake. Except of course now if he starts playing defensively, that's not really gonna help me out. And, uh... Ooh, another Spring of Rebirth. You know what we'll do with that? We'll slip it under Roaring Ocean Snake. Make him even stronger. Man, this deck dominates. Yes, next turn he's going to fall for my Invisible Wire, hopefully. That would be nice. See what kind of monster he has. Oh yeah, he's just gonna stick in this Toon Terrain, which is... Only beneficial to a specific few monsters. Like, there's no. Like, I have like Aqua and Fish and Sea Serpent monsters. There's no Toon monsters specifically. They're all various types, but. They're just special cases of who can get power boost on this terrain. Like, Toon Summon Skull and Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon or something. But, anyways. You can also send the Furious Seeking after that to create more ocean. Oh, my trap activates his trap. Mesmeric control. Oh dear, I have an invisible wire trap guard that's spellbound for one turn. Do I care? I highly doubt it. Yeah, I don't want to power up Furious Seeking because he's only meant to kamikaze in there and create some ocean. If we could get it to Roaring Ocean Snake, that would be pretty neat. 
and I don't know what he's doing, he's like creating a wall around himself. But I'm just gonna break through it, no problem. There we go, we'll just create ocean here. That way at least I can get the power of Kaishin. If you're seeking, you may be gone now. You can get the power of Kaishin to Roaring Ocean Snake. Get him up to 3600. And then it's time to move him in there. Let's see if he's even going to summon a monster to attack it. Oh, now he goes for my invisible wire, which still activates despite being spellbound. That's pretty funny. His clown rabbit destroyed. And now there's a little opening in his wall of defense, and he immediately tries to close it. But yet, yeah, that only gains me entrance. Ooh, green kappa. That's gonna be helpful. Um, just throw Psychic Kappa in there, maybe see if I can lure him into attacking me. Now come on, are you gonna attack me even once? I would like to see some monster combat here. Stop running, dude. It's not fun. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but it's kind of annoying me. Ooh, invitation to a dark sleep. That's gonna be useful. There we go, flip it up. And... Spellbound. Yeah, what you gonna do now, huh? You can't move him. Now I can break through his defenses. Because he refuses to step over one of them. Dumbass. Ooh, two green coppers. That's gonna prove pretty well, pretty awesome. Well, that's first. Oh. Okay, guess that's a magic card. Um. Yeah, we'll just throw this down here. Flip them up. And there we go. We have another super strong monster running around at 3100. I'd like to see him beat that. Dude, stop running, I swear. Well, he's gonna run into the corner soon, and then he won't have any place to go. So sucks to be him. And, yeah, his strategies really aren't making much sense to me. Well, at least I can trap him when he comes out there. Uh, well, I guess we can throw another green cup out there. Get another 3100 point monster on the field. Yeah, we'll just do this, flip up, create some ocean so that I can move two squares and can pretty much always outmaneuver him no matter wherever he goes. Oh, and I guess now he's going to attack me. I wonder with what. I mean, 4,100 points, that's... That requires quite some power to take down. And I guess it's not gonna work. Waste of time. Oh well, now you die. Or we'll just move the green coppers a bit. Because he might, like, have a trap guard or something. We'll just throw change slime in there for no particular reason, and then we'll take him out. With one single attack. So yeah, that's another one of Kaiba's cronies down without putting up much of a fight. I mean, we're doing pretty damn good, we only need three more Rose cards. We need uh, Weevil, the zombie guy, and another one which we haven't seen yet. Illusion's face makes Mesmer control and fiend castle. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. So once we're done loading, we should get access to a new opponent. You must be joking me, Louis never. You've done wonders for my game. I'm, I don't have any rose cards. 
What? Screw you. Anyways, see you in the next part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Road.